today's video is going to be a university room tour which is a video I was really excited to film to be honest I really like personally how I've decorated my uni room there isn't a lot of videos online or just like much information online to be honest about the accommodation at Royal Holloway so I thought this video would potentially be helpful for people um, because I know like rooming is something that's quite important i also just want to say sorry i haven't uploaded in a really long time i've had a stressful few weeks by stress i mean this for about every night for a week <laughs> it's happened <laughs> first time i've been brought to tears what's writing an essay um and i'm a bit behind on uni work to be honest um it's not necessarily the easiest transition. I am still having a lot of fun here. I really love being here. Um, and I, yeah, I can't recommend it enough. I'm just really quickly gonna talk to you a little bit about my accommodation. So I'm in Running Me 2. That is one of many accommodations here at Royal Holloway. George Elliott, Toot, Williamson Butler, um, Kingswood, Goa and Wedderburn. Obviously Runnymede and Penrose. So Runnymede is one of the cheaper ones. It's a self-catered accommodation, so you can have to cook for yourself, but you can still buy food from the restaurants and catered venues on campus. I don't know what you would call it, like the food halls and stuff. It's basically, if you're in catered accommodation, you're not gonna get a full-size kitchen. You're gonna get like a pantry, which has like a microwave and a kettle and just some space to like put your food. And then you'll have easy access to the catered, like the places that provide food on the uni. I don't know what you would call them. If you are catered, then you buy food from there, but you get it half price. Whereas if I were to go and buy food, I would have to pay like full price for it. I chose self-catered because I'm vegetarian and I don't mind cooking for myself and it is potentially a cheaper alternative price in accommodation actually doesn't range that much so you are still gonna buy your food i'm pretty sure some unis have catered where like your food is included for the year and you just like pay your food for the year my actual accommodation like i said is running me two there is running me one and running me two i chose running mead because it's one of the cheaper options of accommodation i say cheaper it's only about like 500 pounds less than some of the other accommodations um, but another reason I also chose it was because there is well obviously it's self-catered there's you get an ensuite um, and yeah those are kind of like the main three reasons that I chose to live in Runnymede the differences between Runnymede 1 and 2 is that Runnymede 1 is much more modern you get an actual room for a bathroom the kitchen's much more kind of modern looking um, and the layout of the rooms are a little bit different you don't get to choose between running me one and running me two it's literally like potluck it's kind of annoying that you're paying the same amount of money and someone gets a much nicer bathroom than you if you're in running me two i do really like my accommodation i think it's really nice running me gets a bad rep and i do not think that it is deserved at all like some accommodations yeah they look much nicer but you don't have your own bathroom i think i'm one of the only people like i've seen at uni that have like properly like decorated their room um but i really 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 like it um and i do feel like this is my home now if anyone has any more questions then please just let me know down below and i'll try and answer them as soon as possible um and yeah i really hope you enjoy this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in the future so into the actual room tour aspect of this video um this is my door i have like extra hooks on the back but it means the door doesn't necessarily shut properly but it's fine um, and then this is just a really quick overview. I really like having colour in my room. I feel like it like reflects who I am kind of. And then this is my tiny little bathroom. Um, it is literally just a wet room with a shower, sink and toilet. Um, you don't have like loads and loads and loads of space in here, but I do really enjoy having that like little cupboard um, which has a mirror on it next to it. Um, yeah, I love this. I think this is really useful and I actually kind of wish I had one in my bathroom at home. It's super nice. Here's the actual shower. Again, it's not the nicest, like it's all plastic, but you know, the water's hot and, and it's my own. So it's very handy. This is my tiny little wardrobe. I was so disappointed by the size of this wardrobe when I got here, but it's fine, I've managed. And then there's also this little cupboard above it which has like cleaning stuff with extra towels and things like that and then there's this really nice handy little nook which has got my suitcase in 
and then here's my bed um, and me fixing it because it's not neat um, my windowsill I keep knocking that cactus over which is why there's soil everywhere and then this cupboard just has like underwear and pajamas and stuff in here's my desk I get a massive desk which is really really nice um, and I just have my decorations my salt lamp is from Amazon um, and then I actually have a video coming up on like my little desk setup so I won't talk too much about that um, but I just have like my journal and my headphones and stuff everything that I need to do my assignments and things like that um, I have a bookshelf above this portion of the desk um, which is also where my kind of like dressing table area is so I've got all of my jewellery and makeup and stuff like that and then a messy plate which we're gonna ignore I've got a campus map here because honestly I still don't know my way around and yeah just all my stuff to get ready um, my star projectors above there and then I also have my vines and fairy lights which I held up with command hooks just a bunch of my stuff that doesn't really have a home and then these are a couple of the books I've studied for one of my modules. This really cute light which my mom made for me and gave to me when she came and visited. All of my books which I have not had time to read. Um, my Princess Leia Funko and just stuff like that. And then this is my room at night. I think it's really, really cosy. I personally love it. Um, I've got photos on my pin board. Obviously my comfy bed. More nice aesthetic shots of my room. this is everything i've got a blanket covering my chair to make it look a bit nicer thank you so much for watching this video like i said if you've got any comments or anything then um, just leave them in the comment section down below and i'll try and get back to you yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you on my next one bye